peace what's going on guys so um this is my review of um outer how best sellers uh, four through six in uh video in one of my earlier videos i did uh one through three and so this is our hob four through six so um number four is uh we have white musk number five we have choco musk and number six we have uh white full aka full if i'm not mistaken yep all right so i'm um, i'm i i've already s smelt these and i can tell you <clears throat> that these are much better this set is much better than um the first set of one through three and um so i guess i'll just i'll review each of them individually so first up we have white musk and um the only note is white musk and uh, i'll tell you i can't really i can't really describe what it smells like i mean i'd say you know i mean i, I looked on wikipedia and apparently like the musk smell is from from animals, from like deers and I guess muskrat. I'm guessing they get it from the glands. Although I've never smelled an animal that smelled anything like this. But um, all in all, it smells really great. I mean, I guess, I mean, I, I definitely want to describe it to you. So I'll say the best way I could describe it is like the the most fanciest fabric softener you'll ever smell in your life. I guess, I don't, I don't know any other better way to describe it than that, but um, uh, it smells great and overall I'd rate it uh, overall I'd rate it a solid 9 out of 10 so next up we have uh, Choco Musk um, to me it actually doesn't smell that much it doesn't remind me that much of chocolate it's more of like a vanilla smell and according to Fragantica it, they say it's an oriental vanilla fragrance for men and women the fragrance features white musk milk chocolate vanilla cinnamon rose sandalwood myrrh amber and spicy notes <clears throat> and uh you guys know i, I if, if you watched the last review that i'm not really a big fan of like sweet smelling perfume oils um just like uh, in the last in bestsellers one through three they had soft which i wasn't a big Yeah, my bad. I had to stop recording because my phone got hot. But um, yeah. So like I, I was saying, I don't really like sweet smelling um perfume oils. Just like soft from um bestsellers one through three. But uh, this uh, this might even smell better than soft. It smells, I think, a little bit more masculine than soft did. So um, overall, it they both kind of have a vanilla -y kind of smell. If that's the way I just could describe it. And I don't really get that much chocolate smell out of them like to me balkis from bestsellers one through three smell reminds me of chocolate even more than this um i could probably see myself wearing this like i don't know maybe like going shopping or in the house i don't know but this is not one that i'd really you know wear like to attract the opposite gender or like to wear to like a maybe i don't even know where i, I could wear this at maybe an interview or something i don't know but yeah overall i think i'd rate this as a seven and last but not least at number six we have um al rahab full or i mean on the box it says al rahab white full and uh this is it, on fragantica they describe it as an oriental floral fragrance for men and women this fragrance features jasmine rose saffron agarwood and amber and um so just like uh you know, this one is another one that's hard to describe. Uh, I, you know, just like how I described the first uh, white musk as like a super, super fancy. Uh, um, what did I describe it as again? Uh, oh. oh yeah, super fancy fa fabric softener. I guess, you know, you could probably say the same thing about this too. Although to be honest, that doesn't even do it justice, but it smells amazing. Um, I'd rate, I, I, it smells, to me, I like white musk better. I think, you know, white musk just smells cleaner, I guess, you know, like this one smells a little bit more complex and because it smells a little more complex, it kind of makes it more feminine. I don't know. I, I kind of like masculine, you know, if you can't tell right now, I like masculine smelling uh, perfume oils, but uh, it smells great nonetheless. And um, I think I'd have to rate this, uh, you, you know what, before I I, uh, I, rank, I rate it, according to Fragantica, um, I guess it has a, a about a long lasting smell. I mean, 11 uh, users voted that it had a moderate last long lasting smell. Uh, 10 
as long lasting and six as very long lasting. Um, and according to silage, which again, I can only assume is um, how potent the smell is. Um, it looks like 18 people said it was a moderate smell. So, you know, that's right up my alley. Cause I, I don't like things that are like too overwhelming in terms of how potent the smell is. So um, I guess if I had to rate this, I'd say it's a eight and a half out of 10. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, if you're not a subscriber yet, please uh, subscribe. Also like this video and comment. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try to do uh, some more of these uh, perfume oil reviews. I mean, they, there's a, quite a few more bestseller sets, so I'm gonna try to do all of them. All right, thank you guys, peace.